Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 3 of Fable the Lost Chapters. Last time, we graduated from the School of Heroes. Pardon me. But hiccup it. And now we're going to embark on our first quest. 18-year-old us. Looking to make a purchase. Skinny as a twig is going to go on his first quest. So what do you offer me? This is a title vendor. You know how people have been calling us Chicken Chaser? Well, that is our title. Because, um... We basically have no renown. No one knows who we are. So until we are someone of renown, we will be Chicken Chaser. We could become Arseface or Pie Master. But, no. Neither of those are cool. You want to get to the harvest clock? Sort out their trouble. So, if you don't remember where we were last time, we were basically supposed to go and deal with a queen wasp that was terrorizing, um, terrorizing a picnic area. But I see a green dot on the horizon, which we are going to go and. Ex Sorry, I'm just trying to refamiliarize myself with the controls. He was. Oh, I see that. I see that. Little snot bag. You hey. know nothing of the world. How do I get that key again? What a repulsive. Is there a jump button? I don't think there is. Is there? It's got to be something. Oh, little snot bag. You know nothing of the world. Used to be an adventurer like yourself, but look at me now, begging to survive and getting bullied by this brat all the time. You must be able to get rid of him somehow. Anything will do. Use your imagination. So we can access useful um, things. So we need to get the billy away. Look at this filthy pot. He really. Ex he wants the billy's. Billy wants us to like, you know, do something. This is basically to introduce the expressions. So to get him to go away. We do this. I swear there's maggots crawling out of him. Ah, you're as bad as that stinking beggar. I'm out of here. Ha ha ha! Funniest thing I've seen in years. You've earned my thanks, hero. I'm sure you'll make many friends in your travels. Perhaps we'll meet again, hero. I sure hope so. If we didn't, well, at least I got some um, some good morality points from that. So, Bower Stones to the right, down here, where we want we want to go. Hey! People are running away from the wasps, and this is how we get. We can destroy these thickets. And that will let us come down here, grab this key. So there's like locked chests in this game and basically these um, keys let us open them so we need to find and collect them. Yeah, I get it. You need me to go and deal with the thing. So this guy really, really wants it. Oh, hey, over here! See these little bubbles over here? That means there's something to be found here. So you want to have a fishing rod and go fish, Sorry. and you can oh shut up, and you can get good stuff. Please, you've got to save my friend. I know. Oh my god, I've never wanted to kill someone in this game. So I love this ominous music. So to kill the wasp, we get 500 gold and 200 renown. So let's do it. Help me, please! Sorry, I'm trying to remember how to do the game. Help! Thanks for saving me. It's been like I'm gonna tell everyone about. It's been like a month or something since I did this game. So these wasps. Aren't that bad.
I acquired Force Push. I think I had that on camera. Basically pushes them away from you. I think I I think I had that on camera last time. Go. Oh, mess. Well, that was that was not smooth as it could have been, but I am. It has been like a month since I did this game, and here comes the queen bee herself. Strike down the wasps! Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, that's how you do it. Oh, here we go. Right, let's do. Let's finish off these crappy little wasps. Oh, that's actually easy. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to remember how to. There we go. It has been like a solid month or so since I did this. It is true. These wasps aren't that big a deal. They're just annoying, really. I wouldn't recommend getting like up close to the wasp queen. I would just stay from afar. Watch that. Yeah, that's what happens when you try and get close to the. Oh, look at the amount of damage I did there. Yeah, dead. As you can see, not that bad. A, f a boss. A nice easy quest to ease you into them. Took me. It was not as smooth as it could have been because I was. I'm getting still getting used to the controls of the game after picking it up from after a month because I'm dumb. My guy acting as if he's an actual badass because he killed a wasp. Who's that then? A hero. Quest complete. We get a little bit more renown than we were. We got some extra renown and we got a good bunch of experience as well. Perform quests, show off your quest trophies and do as many heroic deeds as possible. We'll be doing a lot of that in this let's play. So let's explore the picnic area. Chicken chaser. Chicken chaser. You've received a new quest card. So the quest cards are basically quests, they're like your missions. So you want these quest cards so you can actually go and progress the story and stuff. And a hairstyle card. So these are scattered throughout the game and stuff like that and they basically unlock um, fresh like customization options for your character. It's pretty neat. Jack's most famous victories in the Battle of the Bloody Harvest. So I think that's us here. I used a lot of magic in that fight. I'm trying to go for like a mage slash um, warrior. Hello again. Kind of playthrough, I think, because I rarely play as a as a mage. Well, there are still dangerous wasps about. Looking for you. So the next thing we need to do, we could go back to the guild and get some more um some more stuff, but Maze wants to see us and he's down in Bowerstone. Now Bowerstone is quite the place. And it's gonna be like the main town that we go to, so let's go there right now in this episode and explore Bowerstone because there's lots of things we want. We want better armor, because we don't actually have any armor right now, we're just in clothing. So we want armor, we want all sorts of stuff. These are the guards. Don't mess with them. Hero. Alright. Hero. Clear Scottish accent there. The sarcasm is strong in that one. And here we are, Bibblestone. I'm trying to look for like extras and things, little things that are like hidden away, but I don't think there's many. Bibblestone stuff. Safe, let's go. Oi! You're new here, aren't you? 
We have some rules around here that you need to know about. Bower Stone is a peaceful town. Ah, I'll have to confiscate your weapons for now. There are shops, inns, lots of different people, games, <laughs> all kinds of things. Why not pay the tavern a visit first? It's the building in front of you, just up the road from here. Oh, and keep an eye open for Lady Grey. Treat her with respect. She is the mayor after all. Have a look around and enjoy your stay in Bowerstone. Good old Bowerstone! Here we are, Bowerstone. There's lots to do here, as you can imagine. So this over here is like the um, warp area. Cullis Gate is that's what it's going to say. Cullis Gate. So if you want to travel anywhere that you've been to, you can just walk into one of these and off you go. So this blue building here is the armorer, I believe. I believe he's the armorer. Hey, hello. Let's see what you got. You've come to the right. Can I sell some stuff? I want to sell. Eh. Nah. Keep. Because I actually am wearing what I have there. What do you have to buy? You have all clothing. I'm getting neat. You only have a chainmail helmet, which is kind of bad. I just don't have a lot of. 141 for that, really? Dress gloves. So I want to collect like all the impressive. I want to collect. <laughs> there are bigger creatures out there. The sarcasm in that impressive wasp sling. So yeah, that is the clothes. Now if we come in here, I think this is the. the oh no, this is just a house, isn't it? Stealing can result, make sure you aren't caught stealing. So I think you can see if you're stealing by the uh, how See that little eye? Yeah. Said, no, it's up to two. Two people can see me. So if I get caught stealing right now, it's going to be bad. Two people can still see me. Now it's just one. Now it's zero. And there's nothing there anyway. Put that back right now. Whoops! I got caught stealing. Let's try and quickly, like, trigger this cutscene <laughs> so I don't get in trouble for that. Been enjoying all the attention, have you? Yes, I heard about your encounter with the Wasp Queen. Most of Bowerstone is talking about it, but um, you shouldn't let that kind of thing go to your head. Uh, anyway, that's not why I called you here. You see, there are dark forces gathering that put your giant insect to shame. Uh, tell me, how much do you remember of the night I took you to the guild? Of the raid on Oakvale? Not much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole family, and that you were going to be next. But it seems there may have been another survivor. Your sister. I'm afraid it's only a rumor, and there's no way to be certain yet, but I thought you should know. And for pity's sake, boy, make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. So we just got a right telling off. Chicken chaser. Chicken chaser? Which I know I am a chicken chaser. You do not have to rub it in. So I don't think I'm actually gonna get in trouble for stealing that thing. Alright. Oh no I am. Damn it. Okay, fine. I don't even have enough. Man, I need to run. Is low. Do you have any potions or food? Ah, <sighs> that sucks. I cannot believe that. 
<laughs> I accidentally stole something. I didn't actually mean to steal the potion. Like, I wish I could have just put it back, but once you pick it up, I don't think there is actually an option to put it back. So I think I need to be away from Bower Stone for a little while. Just so they calm down. And what is this green thing on the map here? Let's go check it out. More quests, more things for me to do. I need money so I can actually buy good equipment. Um, hey! Oh, are you talking to me? You know, sound waves can make your head spin into the sun. I've seen it happen, man. If only I hadn't lost my Mushroom of Truth in the Guild, I'd be able to show you. Well... Hey! Hey! If you keep really still, I can see your skeleton. Far out, man. You're from the Guild, aren't you? Man, what a place. Uh, if you go back there, maybe you can find our Mushroom. I was standing on those stepping stones in that pool where the door talks. Man, it just flew right out of my hand. I'm actually kind of curious because I don't remember this. So we're going to go and we're going to try and find that freaking mushroom. I can't, I still can't believe I got kicked out of Bowerstone. But that's now this one looks promising. Oh, hello. You must be the kid Maze is always talking about. Can't imagine what he sees in you. Still, I suppose Maze knows best. But where are my manners? I'm Briar Rose. No doubt you've heard of me. No time for autographs, I'm afraid. I have to get to Knothole Glade for an important mission. Speaking of which, if you came for a quest card, all the best ones have gone already. I'm sure the Guild can find you something to do, though. I hear the kitchens need cleaning. So yeah, obviously we do not have the best of respect right now. We are a fresh hero after all. Let's have a look at what we can do. Better archer, more noble thief, keen trader. I do actually want to become a good trader. I want Gale. I Hell increases your stealth and improves your trading skill. I do want Gale because I want good trading skill. Um, so we can't actually afford the next level of that. This helps me for range combat, this helps me, oh better rate of fire with range and also more dexterity. Yeah, we're gonna go Speed for that. Makes you quicker in both ranged and melee combat. And that's basically all we can get just now, which I'm okay with. We got Gale and we got some speed. Wait, did that work? That did work, didn't it? Yeah, it did. So, let's talk. Let's... The guild master. It must be the guild master. That's good. That is good. That is good. So you can obviously you can f <laughs> you can flirt with people. Let's try flirting with this guy. Tell me, do you hey. have to get trained specially, or do you look that stupid naturally? Wow. Um, sorry, no. That did not work for me there. Choose your path wisely, hero. An orchard farm quest awaits. So there is an Orchard Farm quest. Now, whatever does that mean? Well, we'll find out in a minute. But for now, let's go and explore the guild a little bit. I want... this is the library. What do you reckon on it? I reckon there's a... what did I do? Where did I go? The guild caves? I do not remember this area. What in the slightest. Maybe there's something good down here, though. Oh, it just gets me in there. No. Back. Sorry, I, I, I did not even mean to go there. I want to find the magic mushroom that they are talking about. I want to go show you guys a demon door that is down in the very south of the Heroes Guild. And I want to go to the shop. So there's a couple of things I want to do here. The other land, creatures of Albion. Don't I already have these things? Pretty sure I do. I literally have all these books. Wait, how do I get... Oh yeah, the shop's down this way. I'm a fool. Down as 
Chicken chaser? Yes, I would like to trade. Can I sell this iron? No, I want to. Can I? Am I not using? Hang on. Am I u I'm using my iron katana, right? Yeah, I am. So why can't I sell the iron longsword and the U longbow? It's weird. You're sure to find something to suit you. Can only sell the katana. And the crossbow. That's weird, man. I've got nothing else to really sell. Let's have a look at my items. I'll sell one. Because that gives me a good number of... And we have a trophy from the Wasp Queen, which we can explain in a bit. Explain what that does in a bit. What else? Uh, no, there's nothing else. Right, so let's see. Can we buy anything? Please say I can buy something good from you for like a nice discount or something. Assassin gloves. So you can see that they have, um, it's actually quite complex, like it has a number of how many in stock, it gives you a delivery date, so you can see that this will not be delivered again. It has an armor rating, it has an attractiveness rating, a scariness rating, and the alignment modifier, so it can actually affect your alignment by what you have on. So these leather gauntlets, they are better, makes me less attractive, but well. We do need good armor, so let's take the hit. Oh my god, that, that was all of my freaking gold. Right there. So the only thing I'm missing is the leather leggings, sadly. This club is costly. So, and the rather than equipping everything and like one go. Oh, that's so dumb though. You can just go to suit, like suits and you can equip like everything. So we'll equip the leather suit and then because we don't have any trousers we'll have to equip like a uh, some villager stuff just now. Why you little scrote? What? 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 What did I do? What did I literally do there? Right, so, let's go to the demon door and try and find this magic shroom thing. What is this green guy again? I'm trying to remember. What are you? We're approaching Maze's statue. Oh, this statue oh. is a monument to Maze. Oh, that green one is basically just, uh, essentially, it's just a guide. Like a tour of the um Get away from me. A tour of the grounds, so to speak. How many silver keys? I need twenty keys to unlock this. That's not gonna happen. Now the question is can I just find this magic shroom? Or do I need to like fish for it? Ah, I need to fish for it. You see this little um puddle? I need to fish for that, essentially. And this is a demon door. Demon doors are a thing that's really fun about Fable. They're little, basically you need to do some kind of task for them and they'll let you in. Your path is dark. Only a light will reveal it and you are not bright enough. So it's kind of like a riddle. So the way to get through this demon door in particular is to use your light. Your path is illuminated. See that you worked it up. And now we gain access to this this area. And I hope I get some good stuff because I jeez, I really need some good stuff. The, the library arcanum. So yeah, it's basically just you need to figure out the riddle. Crack the riddle, fulfill the requirements, and you get in, and you can usually get some good stuff. So as you can see in here. It's an alright place, I suppose. Nothing to fish for, sadly. And I can't go up there. I have a feeling I'm not going to get anything good for this first one. Because the, the riddle was really simple. But we do have a chest with... 
an elixir of life, which I don't remember what it does. Elixir of life. Increases are oh, that it increases basically increases your max life, I think. Making friends. Let's have a look at that. Where is it exactly? Is it in other? No. It'll be in Logbook, that's it. So we picked up making friends. Where is it? Pretty simple stuff. Like we I don't think we really needed a book to tell us that. Just don't hit people, be nice to people, be nice in general. There's an important quest card in the guild for you. Look at spells. And we got the hill tattoo. And that's it for the library arcanum. Not much. And we can't do anything else with the mushroom because we don't have a fishing rod yet. So this is it's kind of like a slow start to the game, I'm not going to lie, it's been about a slow start, mostly because I was kicked out of Bower Stone, because I accidentally stole a potion. I'm not going to, that did kind of, kind of sting a little bit. But what we can do is we can go and select our next quest, before we decide to move on. So our next quest is going to be We're now heading for the training. something in White Orchard. If we remember what the guildmaster said, Chicken Chase. I really, beer, really hate that name, Chicken Chaser. So here we go. Our next thing is an orchard farm, White Orchard. I'm thinking The Witcher Three. So we can either help the guards defend Orchard Farm from a bandit attack, or we can be a part of the bandit attack. And obviously, these will have. We're now the same amount of. We actually get more money for attacking. Um, but obviously, this has a good moral impact. And this is another thing about this game: we can take the quest and we can just do the quest as it is, or we can take the quest and boast. If we take the quest and boast, we basically set ourselves challenges um, to handicap ourselves, essentially. And if we manage to complete the quest with these handicaps, we can earn more gold and renown. It sounds pretty simple, but the, the handicaps are actually quite tricky, some of them. You'll see in a minute. So we're going to protect Orchard Farm. Now, no protection, do the quest naked. We wager 80 gold and we get double the money for doing that. Take no damage. Wager 100 gold and get 400. That is really good, but I actually... Don't know, do I have the money for that? Probably not. Ensure that no guards will die. Make sure no boxes or artifacts are stolen. Don't use weapons or any grits, so basically just your fists. Chicken chase. Let's try and make sure no boxes are stolen. Oh, well then, chicken chase. And that no guards die. Hooray! And I think that's that's enough for now. And I think that's enough for this episode of Fable the Lost Chapters. We haven't done much, I'm afraid, but... Every little helps. The game will pick up, pick up in time. But for now, I'm going to bid you farewell. Uh, and if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. I'm going to pause because I cannot be wobbly. Listening to this guy. And if you've enjoyed, so subscribe for more content, and if you... Sorry, lose my train of... That guy is really throwing me off. It was a really a pleasure to have you here. I really appreciate you spending the time to watch this video, and as always, I hope to see you next time. Take care. We will be naming this episode The Wasp Queen, for the queen that we so dethroned.